guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 5 of What's With Me, A Love Song. It's gotta get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I wanna die right now, cause everything fucking hurts! Once again, love is the most complicated as fuck thing because it's like, oh, hey, you think no one else has feelings for insert character here. And the next thing you know, they do. And when you find out about it, it just makes it more fucking complicated. And it's like, uh... <laughs> I'm laying in my bed. Everything hurts. I want to cry. Oh. And I'm hungry too. Even though I had string cheese. I'm still hungry though. Someone's going to relate to this. Yes. Been in love with her for a while. Yeah, but you want to ask her out, though. She's right, though. You you only have a limited time, sweetie. Oh. I fell for her.
In a way, possibly, because she'll be spending more time with the band and not you. And I know you don't want that. Mm hmm So, establishing dominance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because eventually she's going to get tired of waiting. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the best way to a man or woman's heart is their stomach. Because, mm -hmm. you know, food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, but mm, not the best. No, I... Okay. <laughs> huh? Uh-oh. 
Oh, uh, mm. You see that? You see that? Establish and dominance. Establish. <laughs> Establishing dominance and jealous. Yeah! Oh, that's so cute. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> yes, you are. Oh my god. <laughs> No, 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 no. Yeah, uh, you'll be leaving soon. She'll always wait for you. <laughs> I can't. Oh my god. I really can't. This is too much. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god. I feel like you both are. Stop. Good job, babe.
so. Yeah, you know, even though she also loves you and she hates the fact that this is happening, she still has to be your biggest supporter. Aw. <laughs> oh. Of course. Mm. It is. I know. Cool. Yeah. You'll get your cookies in a moment. It's jealousy, babe. It's jealousy. 
The heartbreak. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and plus, if it's picked up by you, girl, they're gonna love it. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> I want cake. Oh my god. I want everything right now. Everything's sweet. Yeah. Good. She still seems bitchy to me. I like her, though. Okay. So. Akko. Or Aki. 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 Girly. I love how, okay. What? We're, we continued the episode right where we left off, too, with the fact is that she's over here like, yeah, I really do like her, but you need to figure it out because, you know, she's not going to continuously wait for you. So instead of you just, like, trying to figure out what the heck you want to be with her, what this relationship is, is to you just hand her over once again establishing dominance even though she ain't in a relationship with her but <laughs> you're <laughs> literally grabbing Kino's hand when her son pie, when Momo came up to give her her phone and just she instantly grabbed her up like mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. the jealousy and the dominance is there and I love it it's something about people who do that it's it's attractive but it is a little scary at the same time because you're just like what you doing like oh but no the fact that she made her cookies that that was cute that was cute that was hella freaking cute like oh my god see I, you know the one thing that i really like about um yori sayu because like once again homegirl she her Seiyu was taking it this year. I mean, the last couple of good... These last couple of years have been really good for her. Um, going all the way back to Bunny Girl Senpai and then leading up all the way up until this. Like, yes, like, a lot of people will say, like, Bunny Girl Senpai was one of her uh, breakout roles. I think before that, there is something else that she did. There were two other shows that I haven't specifically watched that her Seiyu was in that were also her other breakout roles. But a lot of people will say Bunny Girl Senpai... JJK and then probably the rising of the shield hero as well um but I have to kind of put this up there too because oh girl I mean she taking it she taking it there there are times that her character for this series definitely reminds me of her character from tropical Rouge pretty care and such except really with her character in that series um the, there wasn't really like a the, well no I'll take that back there was romantic moments with the girl that she was like technically like shipped with and then had like this relationship with tennis about and such um and you could feel the energy whenever these two were around each other and you're like why don't secretly date like damn like dude but no I hell even though I am I don't go that way 
I'm, I'm sort of falling for Yori. I mean, because she's sweet and she's really just like, she, uh, she reminds me of any other girl that I have seen in any anime. Because, like, okay, I also have, like, the biggest crush on Maki from JJK. Maki, like, it, it's something about, like, not only Maki, just Maki. Maki is Maki. Maki is powerful as fuck, let's say that. Um... I think it's also because of the fact is this she's very much different. You know how like in some animes, especially when it is a um a Yuri and such, and the girl acts more like a guy and stuff. Something about that I really like. That's a weakness and such. And Maki is very much like that. Yuri is like that too. And, and I'm just like, ma'am, I don't roll that way. But I, you know, having a girl crush. I'm mad at it, but no, they are just so fucking cute together. I cannot. But oh my god, like the fact is that they're gonna go on another day, another day, to get something blue, and whatever, whatever Kino gets her, she's gonna love it regardless because it's from her. She's the one who specifically is picking it out for Yori. So homegirl is about to have like a probably a massive like panic attack ish like that and I think that's gonna be like the cutest moment to see next week. But no yeah literally going into the point where she just grabbed her and being like okay hold on yeah I'm being a little bit of like dominant and jealous type right now. I get it. I, I really do get it because I've seen people both sides guy and girl where they really care for that person and they really don't want this other person like taking up their time and they're like, uh uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> like, my time. Me. <laughs> but no, you have to learn to share. That's it. But I get it. I, I really get it. I get it. Mm -hmm. The lovers just don't want their future girlfriend or boyfriend to be with no one else. And I just think that's so freaking cute. Sometimes, not all the time, because sometimes it can turn a little deadly. But I don't think that's going to happen for this show. This show's too wholesome and cute to do that. Don't do it. Mm -hmm. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 5 of Whisper Me a Love Song. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 6. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.